All right. First question, Lydia. Lydia, thanks for being part of the team. Okay. Lydia asks, <clears throat> one of my clients has multiple sclerosis. Is this impacted by insulin resistance? And can someone with MS improve their condition through improved metabolic health? Yeah. Okay. So let's just address the first part. I mean, with these few parts of the question, is it impacted by insulin resistance? Yes, there is some evidence to suggest a link between insulin resistance and multiple sclerosis. Um, and that's at least partly linked through the inflammation where insulin resistance and inflammation are so tied. And inflammation is, of course, a function of, of an immune process. So all of that does suggest a bit of a, mesh, a, a messy mesh of variables here. But to try to put some clarity or, or to at least suggest a possible process of events, it, it is certainly justifiable. There's certainly evidence to support everything I'm going to say. It's just whether that would explain um, this client's instance of multiple sclerosis, which is um, insulin resistance is known to itself uh, to uh, – compromise immune cell function, including activating um, inflammation when it shouldn't be, so promoting inflammation, which in turn can damage neurons, which in turn can manifest as MS. Every part of what I just said is supported. It's just whether the insulin resistance is in fact a direct cause of MS. Now, whether it is or isn't, the good news is um, when we address the second part of your question, the results or the conversation does become a little clearer because you follow that up by saying, can someone with MS improve their condition through improved metabolic health? Absolutely, yes, at least in part through the process I just spoke about, which is the movement of or the directionality of insulin resistance um, through inflammation, through neuron damage to MS. If you can resolve the first part of that, remove the first domino that was tipping into the rest, then you are solving that problem. Um, but even further than that, of course, is the idea of ketones. So the same interventions, namely a low-carb diet that are going to help reduce insulin resistance by lowering insulin is going to be the same strategy that also increases ketones by removing the inhibition of ketogenesis. Uh, that's a way of saying with insulin stepping back, ketogenesis can ramp up. Ketones are very neuroprotective and there's evidence um, to support the use of a ketogenic diet in MS therapy. In fact, um, there is one paper that I am aware of here. One sec. Um, anyway, I'm going to share this with you. It is, um, I want to be able to share. I actually had an old article on this topic and that I'd, that I'd seen years ago. Um, so here's an article that was published in uh, a, a British medical journal uh, offset called the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery, and Psychiatry. Um, but they had this various phases of a ketogenic diet study they did, and they found that in a population of people with MS, um, they uh, their symptoms uh, got a lot better. Um, so direct evidence. I, I, I Years ago, I'd seen a study that suggested that with greater cholesterol consumption, um, like that alone, just encouraging cholesterol was sufficient to actually improve um, MS. That I found interesting um, simply because neurons rely heavily on um, cholesterol. Um, let me just for kicks um, and let me uh, give me just a second. I'm going to see if I can find that on Google Scholar. OK, yeah. So anyway, um, to wrap this one up, uh, Lydia, awesome question. I hope this information is helpful. But yes, here's another study. I just uh, Jack will share it. Um, it is once again showing the use of a ketogenic diet. And in this case, they noted specifically um, very specific symptoms like the prickling sensation, the pain, the balance issues. MS is, is a little bit confusing because it can manifest in a variety of ways. Um, but all of the outcomes they looked at improved with a ketogenic diet.